going to load up into my Ender 3 3D printer. Uh, but I want to show you, while I'm talking about filament, how I store my filament. I always put it inside of a gallon Ziploc bag, and I always throw this little silica packet in there. And what that does is it keeps the filament from getting too humid or too dry. Uh, because you can see some problems with your filament either way. The first thing you want to do to your filament before you actually load it is you want to use some snips, and these came with my 3D printer, to snip the end of the filament at an angle. So you can see there's a nice angle on that, and that's going to help us to push our filament through the extruder motor and into the Bowden tube. So that's a good place to start. Now you can see my 3D printer is already heated up to 185 degrees. Uh, which is good. You want to preheat your 3D printer uh, so that when you push the filament into the nozzle itself, it's going to actually ooze out of the bottom. You want that to happen. But let me show you how I actually heated it up. I uh, went to prepare in the menu and just scrolled down to preheat PLA. And that's what dialed in that 185 degrees. Uh, so let's go ahead and load the filament. Now taking a look at the back side of my 3D printer, I'm going to hang the filament onto my hanger and I'm going to stretch the filament down to the extruder motor which is right here and I'm going to be feeding my filament into that extruder apparatus if you will. <laughs> so I'm going to take the end that I cut uh, into a little angle and I'm going to be pushing it through this hole right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it in. You're gonna notice that the filament doesn't really wanna go in. So what I need to do is squeeze this piece, which is gonna loosen up the tension between the little gear head and the bearing right here. So I'm gonna squeeze that, which opens up that area. And I'll need to push the filament through to get into the Bowden tube, which is right here. Now, it's always a little bit of a challenge to get the filament into the hole directly, uh, so you will have to kind of bend your filament around a little bit just so that you can get into the hole that's on the other side of the gear head here. Ah, and I got it. So now I'm just feeding my filament through the Bowden tube, and I'm gonna stop just before I reach the hot end right here. So I can see where my filament is in the Bowden tube. And I'm just gonna bring the camera around to the front to show you what you do from there. So at this point, I'm gonna to wanna to push the filament down more through this Bowden tube so that it comes out the nozzle, the heated nozzle that's up underneath the hot end right here. Uh, but it, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move my hot end up a little bit so I'm going to take you over to my print screen my printer screen so that I can show you how to move the z-axis up. To move my z-axis up I'm going to go down to prepare and I'm going to move down to move axis and I'm going to go to move one millimeter I'm going to go down to move z I'm just going to dial it up to about 50 millimeters should do it. That way we can get a good view of my nozzle. From this view, we can see the nozzle right here, which is heated at 105 degrees. Um, what I'm gonna do is on the back end here, I'm just gonna continue pushing the filament through. And what we should see is the filament oozing through the hot nozzle right there. And you can definitely see it oozing through. Uh, so. We've got our 3D printer loaded with filament. Now I want to knock off that extra oozy 3D print filament. So I'm just going to grab it with these uh, cutters here. Uh, and there we go. So we're loaded and we're ready to rock and roll with our 3D printer.